In this example for related rates, we will link speed with the rate at which tires turn. So the example is, a bicycle has tires with radius of 24 cm. If the bicycle moves forward at a speed of 10 meters per second, at what rate do the tires turn? So consider like this. This is one of the wheels of the bicycle and as the bicycle moves forward, the wheel turns and both are related. Farther the bicycle moves, more it turns, right? Or you can say that with every turn, it moves circumference 2 pi r distance away. Every turn, it moves 2 pi r distance away. So, so these two quantities are related. And the relation really is that for every turn, so if it is making one turn, let us say the distance moved is x and here we have a radius of r, right? Then with one turn, x will be equals to 2 pi r times 1, right? If for two turns, x will be equals to 2 pi r times 2, right? 2 times. And for three turns, x will be equals to 2 pi r times 3. Similarly, for n turns, x, the distance moved horizontally, is equals to 2 pi r times n, the number of turns. So that is how this linear distance is related with the radius. Okay? Now, if you know the rate of change of distance versus speed, then you can find rate of change of number of rotations since both are related with this particular equation. Do you understand? So, in all rate of change problems, what you need to do is you need to figure out a relation between the two and then find rate of change of one knowing the other. Right? So now we have a relation here. So let's start solving the problem given this relation. So we have x equals to 2 pi r n. Now since with time both are changing, with time the speed with which the bicycle is being run, so we have we can differentiate both sides by time. So we get dx dt equals to 2 pi r dn dt, right? Here radius is constant, number of turns is changing with respect to distance moved. Now dx dt and dn dt are related. If you really want to find what dn dt is, then you can reorganize your formula and you get dn dt equals to 1 over 2 pi r times dx dt. So knowing dx dt, you can find dn dt. And that is related rates. Do you see that? That is how these two quantities are related. And now let's solve our specific problem, right? So here, what are we given? We are given radius, which is equals to 24 centimeter. And what are we given? The bicycle moves forward with the speed of 10 meters per second. Now speed forward is dx dt, right? So we are given dx dt is 10 meters per second. I hope you note that the units are different. So let's convert them into some same units. So we get 0 0.24 meters, right? Dividing by 100, you know. In one meter there are 100 centimeters. So you divide by 100 and get. So you know dx dt. Now if you look at this formula, you know r, you know dx dt, so you can find what is dn dt. Do you see that? So let's find what is dn dt. So we say dn dt is equals to, so we actually say d dt of n, rate of change of number of turns, right? So normally I should be saying d dt of n, rate of change of number of rotations is equals to 1 over 2 pi and r is 0 0.24 meters, 0 0.24 meters, right? And uh, dx dt is 10 meters per second. So that is what we get. Now from here, you'll find the units also. Meters and meters will cancel out. So per second, so number of turns per second is the rate of change of number of turns, right? And using calculator, you can calculate this value, which is 
10 divided by 0 0.48 pi, right? So 10 divided by 0 0.48 pi and revolutions per second is the unit. So let's use calculator and figure out what is this. So just 10 divided by 0.48 equals to divide by pi, which is equals to 6.631. So let's write 6.631. 6.3 revolutions per second. So that is the answer for the given question, right? So I hope you understand how to find answers for these kinds of questions, right? So it gives you very clearly that first lesson, first step is find a relation between the two. Second is take derivative and then rearrange the formula to get what you really want to find and then substitute the values to get the answer right and then you can write down your answer very clearly and that is if the bicycle moves forward at this speed at what rate do the tires turn so you can write rate at which tires turn is 6.63 revolutions per second right for a speed of 10 meters per second okay so that's how we can do it thank you and all the best